going to do a little bit of standing yoga that will help us stretch and strengthen lower body, back, abdominals. All right, let's stand with our feet grounded. Feet could be together or just maybe hip width apart. Inhale as we reach up. Exhale, just gently release the arms down, shoulders follow. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, let's just glide over to the left into that crescent moon. Perfect. Again, keeping those hips straight and forward. Shoulders down, nice. Inhale, reach up toward the sky. Exhale, glide to the left. Can you use in that breath? Inhale, reach up toward the sky. Exhale, shoulders relax down. Okay, let's bring ourselves into warrior one here with that right foot forward, left foot back. Hips are nice and squared, facing front. We're gonna inhale as we reach up. Eyes toward the sky if comfortable. Palms could be together or apart. Using that breath. Bring the arms out to the side. Reach into opposite ends of the room here. Just press those palms into the wall. Bring the arms behind you. Palms clasped together. Slide the fingertips down toward the floor. Once again, the eyes can follow up toward the sky. Making sure that that forward knee is over the ankle behind the toes. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, opening up into that chest. Perfect. As you release, palm center, thumbs toward heart. Carefully lift your back heel, pivot. <sighs> Drop a little lower to open up into that left hip flexor. Perfect. Nice. Bring the arms down to the side, step those feet back together. Feel grounded. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, once again, glide over to the left. Open up the right side of the body. Uh, inhale, reach up toward the sky. Exhale, glide to the right. Open up left side of the body. Uh, inhale, reach. Exhale, once again, arms float down, shoulders follow. Warrior one, as we step forward, that left foot, right heel back. Again, square those hips to the front. Forward knee over the ankle, behind the toes. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, eyes can follow, if comfortable, reach back. Again, listen to your body. Modify if you need to. If your shoulders are sore, just Relax the arms down to the side or palms to chest. Breathe. Nice. Bringing the arms out to the side. Push the palms into those walls. Hi. Nice, long, lengthy. Maybe the hips could drop a little lower. Keep the shoulders down away from those ears. Continue with those arms behind you. Clasp the palms together, shoulder blades together. Press those fingertips down toward the floor. Eyes for comfortable. Again, listen to your body. Nice. Breathe. Bringing the shoulders back over those hips. Palms center, thumbs toward heart. Carefully lift your back heel. Maybe it's sinking a little lower to open up into that right hip flexor. Left leg, quadriceps, stretch, strength. Return the hands down to the mat. Move into your plank. Huh. You want to, if you're in your full plank with the legs extended, press to the heels to stretch into the calves and Achilles tendon. Modification, knees to the mat. Keep a straight line from the back of the head to that tailbone. As you move right into that downward facing dog, you're going to shift the hips toward the sky. Release the neck. Alternate those heel digs. Stretching to those calves 
an Achilles tendon. Perfect. Again, use your breath. Listen to your body. <sighs> From here, you can either step up or hop up standing forward fold. So as we go into that forward fold, you're going to keep the forehead toward those knees if comfortable. Alternate switching in those heel digs if those calves are still tight. Inhale, slowly reverse the swan as you roll up. Exhale into a back extension. Reach up over, contract into those glute muscles. Draw the hamstrings up tight. Protect your low back. Breathe. Mountain pose as the arms relax down into the side. Perfect. Inhale as we reach up. Exhale. Slowly release down. Moving into the chair. Palm center, thumbs toward heart. Sink down. Good. Keeping the chest lifted. Pushing the hips toward that back wall. Imagine that nice long spine releasing your low back out of those hips. But yet at the same time, feeling the strength and power into the quadriceps, the front of the thighs, keeping the knees behind those toes. We're going to bring that left elbow over that right thigh. Find a nice rotation. Eyes were comfortable. And breathe. We're going to take a little further here. You're going to take that left hand, drop it down toward the floor, right arm up toward the sky. Open up that chest. Nice. Breathe. Now return the hands down toward the ground, right in front of those feet as you lift the hips up. Alternate, shifting the hips side to side, but bending one knee in at a time. Inhale as you reverse that swan. Exhale into that back extension. Again, lengthen your low back out of those hips. Perfect. Palm center, thumbs toward heart. Let's sink right again into that chair again. Push your hips to the back wall. Release your low back out of those hips. Create that nice long spine. Again, breathe. Bringing that right elbow over that left thigh. Eyes were comfortable. Perfect. Again, use your breath. Okay. We're going to extend that rotation by dropping the right hand toward the floor, lengthen the arm, and then bring that left arm up toward the sky. Again, eyes can follow comfortable. Listen to your body. Let's bring the hands back down center in front of the feet. Shift those hips up. Alternate those hips if you need to. Inhale, reverse that swan once more. Bring the arms up overhead, comfortable. Lift, reach. Open up the chest, front of the body. Perfect. Nice. Mountain pose with the arms. Relax down side. Okay. Once more, we're going to inhale, deep breath in. We're going to exhale, forward fold. Again, support if you need to. Listen to your body. Release your neck. Alternate those heel dips. Nice. Inhale, reverse the swan. Exhale on that back extension. Breathe. Mountain pose, arms relax to the side. Okay. Let's just place those hands right onto those thighs. I want you to inhale, push your hips to the back wall, lengthen your spine, open up that chest. Exhale, let's round that spine, close the chest, release. The neck as you bring chin to chest, shoulders relax forward. Again, inhale, nice long spine. Think of this as our standing cat cow. Exhale. Good. Now, 
Straighten out the legs just a tad bit more. So the knees are soft, not locked. Slide the hands down the front of the legs where you bring your spine just parallel to the floor. Push the hips to the back wall. Nice. We're going to take that left hand over outside that right leg. And once again, go into a nice standing rotation. Once again, the spine is no further than parallel to the floor. So we don't want to dip too far down. I'd rather see you up higher than down lower. Nice. Then return. Hands placed on the thighs. Inhale, nice long spine. Exhale, gently release and round. Again, inhale, nice long spine. Exhale, gently release and round. Again, once again now, the spine is nice and long. You're going to bring that spine down. You're going to take that right hand to the outside of that left foot. Bring that left arm up. Do not let your spine drop lower then parallel to the floor. Then, nice breath. Breathe. Return, left hand back down. Both hands now move to the front of the thighs. The chest raises a little bit here. Inhale, long. Exhale, release and round. Inhale, nice and long. With this exhale, you're gonna bring the shoulders up over those hips. Inhale, reach up. Exhale into your back extension. Support that low back if it's feeling tight. Eyes are comfortable. Nice. Return to your mountain pose where the arms are relaxed down to the side of the body. Right. Relax the shoulders back. Perfect. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, palms together, thumbs toward heart, and namaste. Until next time, thank you.